I'm interested in uh, spaces of support and community spaces. I've been reaching out to um, feminists and queer folk and uh, I'm hoping to work with them on a series of paintings and also in the writing of a play through uh, processes within improvised theatre. One person is making decisions and the other person is constantly just responding to those decisions and that becomes the dynamic. But where's your character, right? Like what does your character do when they're alone? Our focus is not just the earthquake itself, but it's the fear as perceived danger, which is common for everyone, for every living, uh, maybe even for the plants. The idea is really to interpret those concepts on a visual level. After the brief introduction and us understanding what they do, we had individual discussions with each artist to see what their ideas were, and as curators we helped them in some ways structuring their thoughts, which will hopefully act as a framework for the rest of the time here. We need to go with the flow and yeah. trust the process, so you never know. Yeah. It was very helpful for them to get different feedbacks, uh, but at the, at the end of the day it was their choices to create a work. You know? That's how that racism became more profound also, like having, uh, also accepting the ideas of the other people, but listening to your heart and creating what you really believed in. You know? The fast urbanization that happened in Kathmandu in the last decades has really changed the, not only the city, the landscape of the city, but also, you know, the way of life, the traditional way of life. An important part of the project, I think, is the series of photographs showing the city before and the city after. The VR installation is, has been like my main experiment here, so you basically can enter this environment, this VR environment, you can look around while I go around the city. The first uh, 10 days we spent time going around looking for stories and this particular thing. I mean, we sat down to brainstorm and I wrote the first drafts and she edited them and then we rewrote the narratives. One little street got it up and we found some of the color gun with honey. Straight, 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 and left, 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 and they can display their works, so they can display the process. You know. It was very, it was very incredible. At nine o'clock, so many people coming up the stairs. We've been talking about eggs, we've been eating eggs, we've been sharing eggs. And it was like, okay, one more chicken. Cart, 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 all together. And then I'm like washing it, and I'm like, what is this part? I think just the shared kind of camaraderie that we had of working together, sort of sharing space, checking in with each other, having meals together, you know, just sort of being there for each other. It's, it's special. This is verbatim. It was a nice combination of freedom, no pressure, and at the same time, a lot of, you know, support and help in the creation process. Wonderful artists, you know, it's very difficult to put artists together and make them work. <laughs> it was a lifetime experience uh, for sure. Like I, it really felt like home, like this incubation we always say. Oh man, bye bye. Take care. The 
just need to finish with an emotional note all the time. <laughs> 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 I can't do that. <laughs>